Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel now. Today we have an insane 50k overpower team for your starter teams in FIFA 22. Now then guys, we aren't going to waste too much time, but I do want to have to apologise. I've literally ran out of my EA uh, play trial, so we are on footbin, and uh, obviously we're not going to have any um, gameplay for this video, but it is an insane team. I've uh, built it myself. It's not a massive hybrid or anything, but um, it is pretty good, and I think we're going to get straight into it. The starting formation is a 4-5-1. It doesn't play like that in-game. In-game, it's going to be a 4-1-2-2, and we'll go through how it's going to line up. But in goal, we've got a man who's from Spain. We've got um, Sergio Asenjo. Um, I'm going to go through the players afterwards. Um, actually, now nah, we'll go through them individually. Uh, but for the keeper, it's not much. Bar, he's got really good stats on paper. 6 foot 2 as well, nice and tall. So um, not much to say on the keeper. But we'll start with the right back then. Um, it is going to be, i got to hope all my spellings right and that we can find them. Um, it is going to be Kappa. Now, if we look at his uh, stats in-game, he has got very, very nice stats. Um, there aren't that many fast right-backs on the game. You've got like Walker and a few others, but yeah. Gone for Kappa, he's 3 star, 3 star is fine, but really, really well-rounded. You'll notice with a lot of this 50k team, it is about being well-rounded because can't splash the cash on a 100k uh, or 70k right back in Walker but you know you've got you've got your ability to use the chem stars and get your pace up and stuff but really really good physicals like that's insane I'd probably go for a shadow on him and he would uh, pretty much be incredible look at those stats with a shadow on so um, yeah that's the right back um, very very nice indeed in it um, I haven't chose which centre back is which so we'll go for um, this one here he looks good in my opinion haven't used him um here he is pal torres 71 pace so maybe not the absolute quickest but and he's only 900 coins but he's got insane defending and physicals for a cheap center back with uh, 80 reactions and then those defending are incredible really good short passing 80 short passing 76 long passing and very nice jumping stamina strength all that good stuff and another one where you could put an anchor on him and he goes to an insane player. Um, Shadow makes him very, very good. Or even if you're not bothered about pace. And I honestly don't think pace is a huge thing in def uh, the defence this year. Um, Sentinel makes him incredible. So that's centre-back number one. And next to him is another Spaniard. A lot of Spanish players in this team. Um, it is Mario Hermoso. And I do like this because he is very quick. And another good defending. Now, honestly, if you have good defending... The tackling on this game is so so good. If you can if you can time your tackles, get rid of that. Um, time your tackles. The centre backs defending it really really is good. So someone with like stand tackle eighty four is gonna absolutely be a beast. So those those centre backs will be very very overpowered. Honestly, not gonna get too too many cheap overpowered partnerships like that. Anyway, left back we have gone for a man called Jordi Alba. Now he's the most expensive, but he is very good. I do have him. Uh, in my team at the moment and that was the squad I'll cut that out um, yeah um, I'll blur that or I'll do something um, that was the full team I meant to click this button to to see um, Jordi Alba anyway ten and a half thousand coins for him at the moment um, on Xbox but um, it'll be worth it because he's honestly really good a pack to man tradable these stats here the dribbling I think that's what make him feel so good and very quick as well and um, good stamina he lasts the whole game um, and nice defending physicals a bit low I'd probably on him go for a sentinel and you literally make him a beast if he's not already but um, yeah, that's Jordi Alba then and then one of the midfielders um, obviously this formation isn't going to stay so one of them is this this is a hidden gem look at Marino oh my god three star three star okay maybe not the best but Look at the dark greens there. There are way too many dark greens for a 1.2k card. Um, we're literally looking at 84 stand tackle, 84 ball control and reactions, short passing, shot power. He could take a long shot, stamina. He's literally interceptions. He's going to be a beast in the midfield. I'm so excited for you guys to try him. He'll be very, very good, honestly. Um, yeah, will be very good. You could literally put anything on him. Um, Shadow, Catalyst if you want. Uh, extra passing and pace anything like that and he'll be very very good another midfielder we are going to put the midfielders in um, it's going to be new league new nation 
Sorry about all the Spaniards, but that's how it's going to be. Gosens, I think he's going to be a centre mid. Um, or you could play him CDM, but I play him centre mid. He's going to be a very, very good card. Another one, you che he's cheap, but look how well-rounded he is. Let me get this out of the way. I don't know how. Um, unfortunately, that's going to have to stay there. Um, look how well-rounded he is. Really good stamina, head and accuracy, reactions, uh, positioning, everything is just it's so, so well-rounded. And I think people are going to sleep on him because as a left mid, he won't be very good, or a left winger or something. But as a centre mid, he'll be insane, literally. Let's take a shadow. Same with him, Shadow Catalyst, Engine, Engine might be the one for him actually, that'd be, look at those stats with the Engine, honestly guys, that's a very very good card, and then the final midfielder goes here, is going to be Nico Barella, uh, 12k, but you'll see why now, because he is another very very overpowered card on this game, he's literally got 71 uh, or above in all the stats, 75 or above if you ignore shooting you're not going to take too many shots of him I, I'm guessing as a centre mid with 91 agility 90 balance 89 reactions his dribbling is insane honestly and then on this one you could go sentinel if you're playing him CDM or even I'd probably say shadow or maybe if you want to play him further up the pitch you can go for a, um, a hunter wherever that is hunter there makes him pretty much whatever you put on him or even a basic basic looks insane on him literally guys he's going to become an absolute baller he already is but he'll look so so good with any chem style literally so that'll be so so good so that is the defense midfield and keeper now we've got about 21k to, to spend and we're going to go for who i think might be oh can't spell might be the best player in the team i don't know he could be like next level i haven't used him but i really want to 13k for chiesa four star four star rapid 91 pace a lot of players aren't that quick this year um in the game it's, you struggle to find good quick players but um 91 pace is more than quick enough um 81 attack positioning 79 finishing with 86 shot power is actually very very good um he's going to be i think he he will be someone who you just don't want to get rid of get rid of in your team um four star four star as well is so useful a hawk on him is very nice um another one you could put on him is a dead eye i think a dead eye looks very very good on him um stupid advert in the way again there uh loads of different chem styles marksman could go on him make him a very good striker um yeah insane winger striker forward anything you like that is chiesa done and then the other striker um is going to be Muriel, uh, this guy is so cheap for what he is. If we look at his stats now, four star, four star again is, is key. If you can have good weak foot and skills, um, it is very good. Absolutely rapid like Chiesa. How how is this guy one one k with those shooting stats? That is so hard to come by. Dribbling out of this world. Um, decent passing, not very good physicals, but he's just going to be absolutely rapid and he'll finish everything honestly finishing on this game is so useful because it's it's hard to score this year it literally is very hard to score so yeah dead eye makes him crazy you know the drill marksman hawk finisher any of the attacking ones on him and he is going to be an absolute baller and then to finish the squad absolute player I, I, I haven't used him but he looks awesome again always does uh, everyone on full cam and it's Dries Mertens, 4 star 4 star, the little theme up there, 4 star 4 star on everyone, it's that dribbling, he's going to be playing a cam, he hasn't got the insane sprint speed but the, he's just going to be off the mark, 90 acceleration, really good finishing, he'll score a lot and really nice well rounded passing, again anything you want on him, Catalyst, Hunter, probably a Hunter on him actually, yeah Hunter would be insane on him, so um, yeah, in game, we I did flash it earlier but I think I'll, I'll put something over it, um, this is how it's going to look in game here so let's get rid of that and get rid of that sorry about the adverts and foot bin i'm guessing you have to buy the premium one i think but this is how i would play it in game obviously you can uh, tweak it if you wanted to um so don't worry about the chemistry here and obviously people on three chem six chem two chem this is purely what i'd play it in game uh, it comes to about 50k on average uh it'll fluctuate obviously like anything does but um Borello and Goosens as, as centre mids, 82 defending, 81 physical on, Marino uh, makes him a good CDM, Mertens the slowest at cam but really good um, 
passing, shooting, and dribbling. So he'll be a great cam. And then Chiesa and Muriel can be left or right. It doesn't really matter where. But they'll be insane. And the defence stays as it is. I think Hermoso's left-footed. Um, yeah, he's left foot. So, uh, yeah, stick him at left centre-back if you prefer it like that. I definitely do. So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, can't show you any gameplay because uh, the game comes out tomorrow and I've run out of EA play. But, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'm, I'm hoping you did. It looks insane. Let me know if you do buy it or use it or use any of the players. Let me know in the comments below how they are, how they play, you know, all that business. But if you're new, help me uh, hit 3,000 subscribers. We're on the road. We're very close. Doing pretty well for FIFA 22 at the moment. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed and you're new, subscribe and peace.